physiology isn't about cramming facts it's about mastering the logic of the body in inicet most students get trapped in details but toppers crack it by focusing on concepts that never fail nerve muscle physiology renal regulation blood dynamics and all those golden repeaters in this video i'll show you how to revise physiology the smart way so you don't just remember you understand and score big when it matters the most I am Dr. Sahil Dingra from Team Meritors. Today we will talk about the revision strategy for physiology for your INICET November 2025. Let's start. So step one is to identify the most important high yield topics. Now in your physiology there are a total of nine chapters starting from your GIT and liver, respiratory system, the renal system, muscles and the neuromuscular junction, cardiovascular, CNS. or the central nervous system hematology endocrinology or and your extra cover now when it comes to ini cet usually they will ask you around 5 to 6 questions from physio alone and this is the weightage for your physio and combined your physio and your general medicine they will ask you roughly 9 to 10 questions so you see around 3 to 4 questions would be from your medicine and around 6 questions will be from physio so physio has a relatively higher weightage than medicine but ultimately both are linked in a lot of the places so if we see your ini cet for physio if you have let's say 6 questions coming so the most important topics are your respiratory system your cardiovascular system then your blood that is hematology and the endocrine that is your glands these four are the most important for your physio now in this again respiratory they have their favorite question they will ask you the o2 dissociation curve so they will ask you the right and the left shift what are the factors which will shift the curve to the left or what are the factors which they will mostly ask you the to rule the odd one out they will ask you all of the following cause a right shift except and one option they will give which will cause a left dissociation so then in your cvs again cvs is very important in cvs you have to read everything about your heart everything related to your blood flow so what is the entire mechanism you have to know in brief then in the blood all your diseases will come all the blood disorders they are very important blood is important for your physio also and pharmac also and general medicine also so when you are reading these three subjects better to go in line so especially physio and general medicine they have a lot of common things within them and then your endocrine again endocrine is very important endocrine is one topic which is the core physio topic so this you will cover mainly in your physio only all the diseases addison disease and all then again this will go to your general medicine also so endocrine again physio you see physio and general medicine you have to actually study together that's why i have told you the weightage also that what is the separate weightage for physio and medicine and what is the combined weightage so if you see combined weightage is around 10 questions so don't go too much into detail in your general medicine the clinical aspect but whatever basics you are reading in physio you have to cover those in your medicine also and again in physio you have to focus on your basics all the basic concepts you should know for example if renal is not that important but in renal again they will ask you about pct dct loop of henle so in physio they will only ask you about the basic questions so you have to just read a little in in little brief about each system then next is your past year papers again last 5 year papers so 10 papers you will cover in this for your physio and physio for your other sub, the less important topics that is your renal or the muscles and the neuromuscular for these also you have to see the past year questions for physio the past year questions are the most important thing so even 
So first you have to cover your four to five important chapters, your CVS, hematology, etc. And then you all the other chapters don't go to the chapter first. First you cover the past year papers. So when you cover the past year papers, you will know what are their favorite topics from each topic. So in physio, what will happen? Every question in every chapter, they have two to three favorite topics. Like I told you about the O2 curve. So whenever they have to give you a question from respiratory, the first go to question which they have is your O2 curve. Similarly, for other topics, you will know from the past year paper. So for physio, this is the most important rule that you have to see. You, have, you, you should know for physio, you should know all the past year papers in detail. And the smart approach is to club the similar subjects, which I already told you pharmacology and general medicine, specifically your general medicine. This has a lot of similarities with physio. Pharmac you can read separately also because pharmac again is a very in-depth sub subject. So you have to cover all the drugs in detail in that. And again, you have to revise three to four times. In physio, the main advice is that do not try to memorize. Don't try to memorize without understanding. Goal is to understand the concept. If you have understood how the mechanism works, only then you can retain it for a longer period of time. If you just try to cram, it will not work. If you cram, you will definitely forget it in the exam. So you have to understand, you have to link the different things. Only then you can have a good score in physio as well as in your general medicine. So with this, we come to the end of this video. Hope you found it useful. And if you are liking the content and want to watch more such videos, you should follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have not yet downloaded the Meritors app yet, you can go to the App Store or the Play Store and download the same. Thank you and have a nice day.